Good morning and happy Monday. Welcome back to my channel. This week, I'm planning on showing you the different meals and meal preps that I've made. Definitely working in entertainment, you never know what the week's gonna throw at you. And so making sure that I've prepped things in advance and that I have a plan going into the week really helps me. And just making sure that I'm eating a lot of whole foods, eating what makes me feel good. I meal prepped yesterday, today's Monday. So on Sunday, I meal prepped a bunch of stuff. And honestly, it's saving my life this morning because I am running a little behind. Since I had all my stuff meal prepped, I could easily just warm it up, throw it in my lunchbox, and then go throughout the day. So I have a feeling this is gonna be a bit longer of a video, so let's get right into showing you my meal prep, and then we'll head into the rest of the week. Look at the number of blueberries. Honestly, my favorite thing about blueberry pancakes is the blueberries. Like, I'm always picking out the ones that have the most. But I dumped like a whole container of blueberries in with this mix with like a couple eggs and I used vanilla unsweetened almond milk because I just love blueberries and the blueberries were on sale so I was like, all right, I'm gonna have this extra pack anyways. So doing that, I'm also prepping my salads. I also have some red onions. So they're like pickled red onions. So I'm gonna put those in there, but only like the first one for now, because I don't know if I'm gonna like it slash with like the meal prep and everything, if it's gonna just be sitting there and like making it super oniony. Cause I'm not trying to be super oniony at work when I'm eating it. But yes, I'll put this in the first one. And then if I like it, then I'll add it in like each morning or something. And these are the pickled red onions that I picked up at Publix. They used to come in a plastic bag, but I kind of love that they come in a container because I can keep the container and reuse it to maybe make my own red onions or, you know, just use it to put away leftovers or something. But I didn't really ever love pickled red onions until I had some at Kava on my bowl. And then I was like, wait, I'm low key obsessed with these just a little bit. And then I now add them to like random salads at Panera and stuff. And now I'm gonna hopefully add them to these and whatever meals I come up with during the week. Also continuing the theme of onions, I have literally been growing my own green onions. I have this jar, I have another jar, both in the fridge. Also my kitchen is a mess every single time that I meal prep, but then I'm only making the mess once. So that's cool. I also forgot that I meal prepped all of this from last week's meal prep. And by last week, I mean, I literally meal prepped it on a Thursday. <laughs> so it's now Sunday and it's obviously still good, but I like making these like noodle bowls. I found when I add like fresh veg, it kind of balances it out and makes it feel a lot more fresh. I'm cutting my carrots and I feel like I'm gonna chop my finger off. So I realized that I can just be grating my carrots and I don't have to worry about chopping my finger off when I try to get these like little slivers. I know I can buy them like that, but I feel like they last longer. I don't know, I don't know. But I just created it and it's it's so much easier to like eat with the noodles and I can sprinkle it on top. It's kind of like sprinkles for my salad, I don't know. In addition to my green onions, I also keep my cilantro alive in water. So it's kind of like growing it. Um, I use a jar that I've had for a long time. And I, when I took the label off, it was still pretty sticky. Use the produce bag that I get it in and I stick it down so it's not just like in the fridge air. And it keeps it so fresh. Like that looks so good. Looks so much better than it was at the store. But I'm obsessed with this. And it's like a new plant baby in my fridge. But yeah, so I'm also gonna put some of this on my salad. I'm just hoping that my salad is just like a rainbow of deliciousness. I hate when I get to the bottom of a salad, like a pre purchased salad like pre-made and it's just all lettuce at the bottom so my goal is to make this fresh something I can shake up and it already smells so good I'm gonna sprinkle some of my green onions on there and then some of my carrots mm, I'm so excited and I have some tomatoes oh my gosh this is gonna be like the best salad ever I this is my first time meal prepping salads and I'm excited okay if you can't tell like I've had this for at least two weeks and it still looks so good so I highly recommend when you buy your cilantro or parsley or whatever, if you just buy it and like cut off the ends and then put it in. I put mine in filtered water, but I don't know if that really matters. Um, and then it can stay and last for such a long time because before I would buy it and then it would just sit in the bag and like get slimy and gross. But this way, it works. I don't even know if you need the bag on top. But I just do it just in case. But yeah. I have all my herbs ready and then I have my carrots. So I'm just gonna 
take some and sprinkle it on. This is kind of hard to do while watching through my camera. So now it's chicken time. I put the salads away into the fridge so they don't get like super warm. Recently been perfecting my breaded chicken recipe and I feel like I figured it out pretty well. I like to season my breadcrumbs and I like to season my chicken before I dip it in this stuff and I've really been into using, is it Old Bay seasoning? Recently, ever since I've started my breaded chicken little recipe, I've been like tenderizing it. I don't have one of those like hammers, so I pretty much just use like the back of the knife and I like go one way and then go diagonally. But it makes such a difference, one with like evening out cooking and making it easier to cook that way because it's all flat, especially with like breading it and stuff. And two, like, I don't know, I feel like it does make it tender. Obviously, I'm not like going all out with the hammer, so I don't know how tender she could be, but it definitely made chicken a lot easier to cook and I'm definitely the type of person who's like cutting it 50 times but now I know that I can just like use my thermometer and rely on that because it's all one level piece. I'm gonna start dipping these and then we'll get to it. chicken came out really good and so did the eggs i didn't i forgot that i bought some croutons to put on the salad but i don't think there's room so we'll see i might bring them to work and try and shove them in there but i'm not sure how i'm gonna mix it with these but they came out much better than i expected and i'm so excited to eat them this week feels like it's been a long time since I've talked on the vlog because it has been it's now Tuesday night yesterday I had to work on like a last minute project and then tonight I had kind of like a freelancing call for a cool project I get to work on but it's now Tuesday yesterday because I had to work so long on that project that I had I basically just ate like <laughs> pizza rolls and whatever but tonight I'm thinking of making some peas and pasta. I've gone back into my green pea era, so <laughs> I'm gonna make this dish. I made it like a few months ago and it was really good. I've also really been enjoying my salads. I shoved so much in the like little container that I now have to like use a bigger container that I have. So I have to take it from the small containers that I put it in every day because I only have one big container and like dump it in there. So there's enough room for me to like move my fork around and like eat all the stuff together, but it's really good. It's super filling and it just makes you feel very fresh, very good, and it has all my favorite things in it. So, highly recommend that salad. Let's get into this pasta making. It's pretty easy. Honestly, you just need some type of pasta, parmesan, peas, and then kind of a meaty for choice. Some people use bacon, some people use the like Italian meat that I'll show you. I can't remember the name right now. Yeah, so here it is. It's basically just diced pancetta. Just brown this in the pan and then basically add all my other stuff, let the pasta boil, add in the peas a little bit grate some of my fresh parm and then mix it all together and it comes out really good so i'm excited Alrighty, so this is what it looks like my finished peas pasta and pancetta it's really good it smells incredible i think it's better than i made it last time because i added some smoked paprika to the sauce it's also a lot creamier than it normally is normally i have way more pasta and peas but i did have a casualty when i was straining some of it in my sink but yeah, this is what it looks like, and I'm really excited to eat this and then watch the last episode of Percy Jackson this season. It looks so good. back in my kitchen it's saturday morning i feel like i thought that i talked more in this vlog also excuse this i just washed my face 
but I realized that the week just got away from me. It got very crazy. My kitchen got very messy. And so I've just been eating all the meal prep that you saw and some leftovers. But this morning we're taking a chill day. If anything, I should say good afternoon because I've been on my phone working <laughs> all day and now it's, you probably see the time back there. But I'm probably just gonna make myself some breakfast, some brunch. And then I'm actually currently editing a YouTube video, my Seattle vlog, which should be up soon. When you're watching this, it's probably already up. But I feel like in that vlog, I also thought that I talked so much. So I was excited to edit clips of me talking because in the vlog that I posted before that, my summer road trip vlog, I didn't like any of the clips of me talking. And I was like, all right, I'll just post one with just music. And then I was like, in Seattle, I'll have more clips of me talking. Cause I feel like I introduced every morning, but for some reason I don't have any of those clips. So I guess I didn't do that. So I might add a voiceover, I might just leave it with just music because I do like vlogs where people kind of are explaining what they're doing and I feel like there's a lot of clips that don't necessarily go together because unless you went to the conference, you wouldn't understand that like I was in sessions all day and then I was networking and doing fun stuff. Um, but I also don't want it to be too long. So we'll see. But right now I'll be making some breakfast so I can eat that while I finish editing it. I go through different phases where I just get like the egg ick and I can't eat the eggs that I bought unless I like put cheese or something on them. I don't know, but I'm currently in that season so I will be putting cheese on my egg. Perfect timing. This week I had those pancakes and I actually made so many that I had to like put some in the freezer. So I'll have some of those probably next week, which is good, you know like meal prep for two weeks but i normally like if i have avocados that are ripe i'll usually have avocado toast like almost every single day for work because something about it like something about it this is gonna sound so sad and it's it's partially true but like not really sometimes i literally get up in the morning to have avocado toast like nothing gets me up more than the idea of having avocado toast and maybe i'm basic but i just I love the way that I make it. <laughs> I'm obsessed. It's so good. It's consistent. I don't know what it is, but I love it so much. So this is like one of my favorite breakfasts. Usually I'm probably eating this like every single day, if I can. Sometimes I can't because I'll buy groceries on Sunday and they aren't ripe until like Wednesday, but then I'm looking forward to something at the end of the week. And so sometimes, sometimes you just need that. You know, they say have something to look forward to every day and it makes your life better this is what i have this and my eggs and my blueberries this breakfast also looks huge but it's pretty much gonna be my breakfast and lunch i think my parents are coming in town to visit so maybe we'll go get dinner or something but i don't know what time they're gonna be here so this and probably some snacks will be tidying me over for a good amount of time has anything ever been more beautiful? I don't know. And this is her. I might have put too much cheese on the eggs, but honestly, it looks really good. And I'm super excited to devour this and then get back to work for the day. Honestly, has anything ever looked better? I know that I've said this, but this is probably my favorite meal of all time. And I don't know if I'll ever get tired of this. I'm definitely a creature of habit.